Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about the thread brake sensor. How can we know if our thread brake sensor is working properly? So there's some options in the control panel that can show you if uh, the sensor has reading. Basically, this is our thread brake sensor. So when the machine is stitching, the, this little wheel is spinning. So on the back here of the head, we've got a sensor that is detecting that movement. If, when you have a thread brake, the wheel will stop spinning and that's how the machine knows that you had a thread brake. This light it will turn red. That's all it means. When you got a red light it means thread brake. Uh, but how do you know if it's working properly? So we're gonna check the parameters for the thread brake sensor on the machine so you can compare it. Maybe not all the parameters are set it up correctly in your machine and that's probably why you're having problems with the thread brake sensor. So here we are in the control panel. First thing, we need to check the parameters to see if our parameters are set it up correctly. So we want to go to brake detect parameter, okay, right here. The first one we have thread brake detect. The first thing you need to check is, is to see if it's yes, right here. Basically it tells you that the thread brake it's on thread brake detect yes it has to be yes okay the other important thing is right here what type of mode there are different type of modes thread brake board for example the two head machine uses the thread brake board so on the two head if you had a two head machine it has to say TB board if you had a two head red line embroidery machine. If you have the single head, it has to say up to coupler. We say yes. So we need to check this two right here. First one if it's yes, and the second one if it says up to coupler. The sensitivity, normally we, we use it at one. One, one, and this is other values that we have in three and then three. You, know, you need to check to see if these values are correct on your machine. Sometimes by mistake you change that sensitivity and it won't detect properly the thread break. Okay? The next is uh, the next step is to check break detect parameter 2. What type of thread break device you have selected right here? The red line and rotor machine, the single head and the two head machine, we use winding thread wheel. That means the wheel that I just show you a few seconds ago. Um, if your machine is on spring plus wheel or spring, that also can be a problem. It will not detect the thread break if that parameter has been changed. So it has to be winding thread wheel in order for the machine to work properly on single head and on two head machine as well. Okay. Now, how do we know if our thread brake sensor is working properly? First of all, you need to check in what needle you are on. So in my case, I'm in needle number one. So, so basically, we go to this icon right here. And then we go to machine test. And then we go to the next page. And the second option right here, it will say test thread brake D detect thread break detect that's how it has put in here in the computer so we pressed here and then this little window will display so what you're going to do is move the wheel like this what it will happen is you will see numbers increasing right there where it says please dial winding and you will see some numbers moving right there increasing basically one two three four if you have those numbers when you're moving the wheel, basically it's that the thread brake, it's got a reading. So that means that the thread brake sensor, it's working properly. Okay? Also some thing that you might check is to see if you had a full round of thread in this wheel. We have to have a full round, not just half. The thread, this is, will be half. And this is, will be a full round, okay? 
So it has to be full round because sometimes when you only have half, the, the thread will not move properly the wheel. Now, other thing that you want to check, if, if you don't have reading on your control panel, if you do the test and you don't have reading, we need to check, we need to inspect the, 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 the thread brake sensor. The thread brake sensor is located on the back of, of the tension head. You need to press here on the top and remove this cover off. That's basically our thread brake sensor. So, other thing that I will recommend is to see if it's properly connected. Right here, this is the cable. And then we got some magnets right there. Can you see them? There we go. We got two magnets on the top and we got two magnets at the bottom. So every time the sewing head moves, that sensor will stay in place and whatever needle it's uh, in position, that sensor will be detecting this wheel right here. This is the, the wheel when it's spinning. This black wheel will move and the, the, um, the magnets will detect that movement and it will send a signal to the computer saying, okay, the machine is stitching. So what happens if uh, they are covered in dust? So probably will not read properly. So what I would recommend is to clean those magnets with uh, a dry Q-tip, okay? So it's very important to verify to see if you don't have a lot of a dust on the thread brake sensor. Uh, I have seen that when you have a lot of a dust uh, on the thread brake sensor, uh, it will stop reading properly. Other thing that I would recommend, do not use adhesive spray close to the machine. You know that spray with glue? Uh, don't use those kind of uh, sprays close to the machine because those uh, glues will go inside the components of the machine and it will uh, damage sensors like this one. So don't use adhesive spray close to the to the machine. Okay? Uh, try to... Also, I, I will not recommend to use the compressed air bottle can for the sensors. I have seen that uh, some people are cleaning those with uh, compressed air bottle and uh, for some reason the sensor will stop working. It's very delicate sensor so use a dry q-tip to make sure that that sensor is cleaned up. Okay? Once you're finished you just put back the, the cover and, uh, and try your machine to see if that helps.